Well, hello there. This is Juan. Welcome to One on One Coaching, where we believe we not only have the right to control our lives, we deserve to create them. And this is episode 30. I'm recording this one just a little bit ahead. This is Thursday of Holy Week, and it's usually known as the Last Supper Day. But I'm not really talking about religion per se, and it doesn't really matter what, whether you believe in this or not. Um, I think what I wanted to talk about is is the, the, the relational aspect of it. Um, if you don't know about it, the Last Supper is called the Last Supper simply because it was the last time that Jesus had dinner with his best friends, and we call them apostles, let's just say they're Jesus' best friends, they're his inner circle. And one of them betrays him, turns him into the authorities, and then he's crucified two or three days later. And what I wanted to talk about is that concept. What would you do if one of your closest friends or one of your of one of the people that you trust the most would actually betray you and do something? against you so it doesn't really matter what he does or she does it's just betrayal you think they have your back and for whatever reason this person chooses to turn you in or uh, steal something from you or they just simply break your trust I'm sure this has happened to you before what's interesting in this situation is that they said that Jesus knew something was going to happen and you have to think about it. If he knew about this situation, why would he not do something about it? Why would he just continue to go through the process? So that's one thing that came to mind as I was in the in the in mass, in the religious service. And I don't know if I don't know if I have an intuition that something one of my people is going to do something awful to me or something that's going to cause a lot of harm to me why would I just keep quiet and keep going um, having my own doing my own thing and and having the person in my circle when I could be preventing something and doing something about it and we don't I don't I didn't really think about this before in this sense but I, it's just understanding that Jesus chooses to keep going, keep doing whatever it is to do. It's almost like they're giving them, he was giving the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he will change his mind, maybe something happens and and the outcome is positive. I, I'm not really sure what happens there. I don't have an answer for you, but it's just worth thinking about this. What would you do if one of these, your inner circle fails you, betrays you in a sense? something that can even cost you your life or maybe your job who knows what it might be the other thing that's interesting to think about in this is that the betrayal had to happen so in this in this story the main the the, the catalyst for the crucifixion to happen which is something that jesus believed had to happen and and needed to happen in order for him to pay for all sins the betrayal had to happen <laughs> and that's the other interesting part that we don't really think about it's sometimes when bad things happen to us when we are betrayed when somebody breaks our trust or somebody does something we didn't expect that they would ever do it needs to happen and it's 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 something we don't think about. The same goes with failure, and the same goes with other bad experiences. We don't generally think that sometimes these things have to happen in order for us to become better, to be better, or for a different door to open to us so that we can do greater work. So those were the two things I was thinking about. Uh, would I actually let things happen knowing that something someone's gonna do something that's gonna harm me or my life and then 
am I able to take the negative experiences and bad experiences and see them as a stepping stone that had to happen in order for me to express more of my potential rather than just complain about that issue and be angry about it and hold grudges about it. So <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have the answer. You tell me. Share your thoughts. Share your thinking. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.